So back in the woods and it's a cold day today. Uh, we're gonna light a wee fire in this old old wheel rim. So that's what we're gonna do. So I wanted to show you this. If you use a bow saw, I've seen guys using a uh, bamboo and piece of plastic hose to cover their blade to keep it keep it from cutting herself. So you put that in your bag. Uh, you're not going to cut yourself. You're rummaging about in the bag for something else, or if it's in the boot of your car, you reach in to grab something. You're not going to cut your your hand, and even a slight cut is annoying when you need to use your hands. So anyway, this this cover is just a piece of that plastic conduit, sort of a flat oval shaped conduit. You get it out of like B and Q wicks tool station, screw fix, that sort of place and it's very very cheap, it's about a pound pound odds for a metre so you just cut it to size, if it depends on the shape of your bow saw uh, at the end, but it covers a whole blade and you just take out one of your pins and slide it off and it's very easy to do that's an old bow saw I got in a job lot. I don't know if you'll see it. It's a Sandvik made in Sweden. You don't get these anymore. These are old, old style saws. I think the nearest one now would be a Baco. Uh, but they're made in Portugal. This is the, the real McCoy made in Sweden. And it's a the it's original blade that's on it. And it's very good. So if you use a bow saw, you can make a wee guard and you can stick it in your bag, stick it in the car boot and you'll be safe. So my advice, or a good idea anyway, is always to take your kindling with you. Something dry to get a fire started. Because in this weather, you can't guarantee finding dry stuff. It could take you a while to find stuff to, to burn. So always take in your pack kindling, whether it be some dried birch bark or whatever. Because in these woods here, there is not a birch tree to be found. There is other birches, but they're quite a bit away from here. Uh, so always take your kindling in a bag so that you can guarantee a fire starting in case you need it. So another thing you can use a protective cover for the blade for, see if your fire's not gone too great, you can use it as a, a blower to blow into the fire, as long as you don't go into the flames, because this is plastic. Don't want to burn that or melt it. And that way you get your fire going. So, a two in one item. There's another thing, when you go to the woods, uh, as you probably know, most of the ash trees are dying off for uh, that ash blight, that beetle thing. It's killing it. So there's a lot of dead standing ash that you'd really be doing it a favour making it for your campfire because it's a great wood to burn and before long there'll be none left so get out there and use the ash there's plenty of it a lot of it's dead and it's dry as a bone so Get out there and use that ash. And as you can see, you get a great fire with ash and there's very little smoke from it. Uh, you get a tremendous heat from it. And, I mean that is a great heat for here. And I'm about, oh I'm about two or three feet. It's a great fire. You can hear it sizzling a bit, but that's just because it's 
a bit damp, we've been in the the snow. But yeah, use up that ash. So you can see it's a good clean fire with very little smoke. So I'm just gonna let this burn out and then tidy up and go on my merry way. But it's been a good wee day out trying a, the new bow saw, the new old bow saw and having a wee fire. So I'll wrap it up here and see you in the next video.